So one way to actually get stock idle here is this, uh, we look at select sector first. Okay, like for example, this period, uh, some of the IT companies are doing very well. Uh, or either that, uh, okay, you can actually look at, you know, whatever sector that you think is actually going to do well. Okay, so these are the sector you can choose from. Okay, so personally, I always quite like this healthcare se sector. So maybe I actually look at healthcare services. Okay, so there's actually 27 stocks for us to choose from. Uh. So what I like to do is actually to sort the P by PE uh, for sector. So by PE, of course, you can sort by any other thing else. So generally speaking, either either sort by PE or the market cap. Uh. Market cap shows the size of the company, uh. size of the company, how big the company is. Okay, so I... So it's up to your personal preference. You can either sort by PE or market cap. Now, PE, uh, let's get clear first. Uh, PE, the lower, the better. So if you ask Don't have PE, PE this no. company, very straightforward. They just store the cop blood. And then the only uh, actual activity that help them grow is really trying to get into China. Uh, so this is what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, so uh, you may actually just want to note down, okay, uh, you know, the way, anyway you want to write it now. What is their business model? What is their business model? You can write down a uh, store called blood, then growth plan, go into China. Oh, uh, so this is probably what I can do, or maybe you can do so this. Together. is uh, one way I actually get a stock ideas. I actually go by sector, then I chose the one with the lowest PE. Uh, this is what I get. Okay, now, uh, like I said, now uh, for every one stock you want to buy, you have to compare against six. Uh. Okay, now, next one. Anybody has any company to suggest? So let's say, you know, uh, flavor of the month. Anybody has any company which you think is a flavor of the month? Okay, can you just uh, shout out on the chat? Okay, uh, uh, not the banks, not the REITs, huh? but anything else is actually fine. Okay, sets. Huh? Okay, thank you so much. Let's look at sets. Okay, so same thing for sets. Huh? You should go and download the annual report. Uh, like I said, no read on the uh, chairman statement. Uh, read on what does the company does, and of course, uh, what is the growth story? Yeah. Uh? Okay. So in the choice of time, you know, go it. But of course, uh, for sets, uh, they are actually into. Um, I think they actually call it uh, what? What you call it? Uh, 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 airport services. Huh? Okay. So I'm not too sure the growth story. Okay, but this one you're going to check it out. Then same thing. We actually find all these numbers. Huh? Okay, let's do it together. Okay, I'll do it a bit faster. If you need me to slow down, let me know. Okay, income statement. Okay, net income after tax. Profit for past five years, pass or fail. Okay, maybe you all can help me to, uh, okay, faster than I can do it. Okay, thank you so much. It's a pass. Okay, cash flow over past five years. Okay, but you can see that this one is actually dropping. Uh. Okay, this one is actually dropping. Uh. You may actually take note of that. Also, of course, generally speaking, we prefer either increasing or least stable. Uh. So this one actually drop also may not uh, be perfect. Uh. Okay. Then we look at cash flow. Cash flow for operating. Okay, pass or fail. Thank you so much. Uh. Pass. Okay, current ratio. 1.835, pass or fail? Okay, pass, uh, thank you so much. Profit margin, okay, I just copy down first. 9%. Okay. Interest cover, okay, same don't have, that means it's a pass. Okay, this one is a point zero five three. Okay, debt equity. Okay, 0 0.386, uh, 0 0.39. Uh. Okay, PE 20%. PB 2.1. Okay, dividend yield. 2.2%. Okay, so this is a second way to get stock ideas. Maybe sometimes you read in the papers. 
Okay, thank you oh, so much. You, huh? you know. So great, great. Huh? So you actually see the idea. So this is what I actually do on the monthly exercise. Okay. So every month I will do that after I rank. For those that I will not touch, I will actually uh, filter out. Huh? Okay. Huh? So of course, now after you rank, huh? okay, doesn't mean that we we'll buy also. Whether we buy one, buy two, buy three will depend on the next step, which I actually go up very soon. But uh, uh, I just want to look at the ranking. I more or less agree. Uh, actually, more or less in line. Okay, there's no right or wrong answer. So oh, if let's say yeah. only of these five stocks to choose from, but of course, there's so many stocks. Um, you know, you uh, not necessarily means you can only stop at six. Uh, you can actually compare 10, compare 20. In fact, the more you compare, the better. Uh, then you understand. But okay, I just want to give you a sense of, you know, uh, how I actually do it now. So you can actually it's, you can actually compare across industry, not necessarily have to be in the same industry. Like, huh? So this is a process I take and you know just uh, after that you actually rank. Yeah?